I would like to note, ere we begin, that I had every intention of presenting something lighter today and then this poem written in 1944 by a favorite of mine crossed my path, so without much apology. A Song on the End of the World by Cesua Miłosz, translated by Anthony Miłosz. On the day the world ends. A bee circles the clover. A fisherman mends a glimmering net. Happy porpoises jump in the sea. By the rain spout young sparrows are playing. And the snake is gold-skinned as it should always be. On the day the world ends. Women walk through the fields under their umbrellas. A drunkard grows sleepy at the edge of a lawn. Vegetable peddlers shout in the street, and a yellow-sailed boat comes near the island. The voice of a violin lasts in the air and leads into a starry night. And those who expected lightning and thunder are disappointed, and those who expected signs and archangels' trumps do not believe it is happening now. As long as the sun and the moon are above, as long as the bumblebee visits a rose, as long as rosy infants are born, no one believes it is happening now. Only a white-haired old man, who would be a prophet, yet is not a prophet, for he's much too busy, repeats while he binds his tomatoes. There will be no other end of the world. There will be no other end of the world. A Song on the End of the World by Cesua Miłosz Translated by Anthony Miłosz Use the links. I'll see you tomorrow.